What's going on guys? John Kelly here and I just got back from an awesome five day trip with a bunch of really cool people to the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. It was a five day backpacking trip full of all kinds of fun and amazing, amazing views. And today I decided instead of doing some video where I've got a list of things or uh, any kind of tips, I'm just gonna show you what I took with me on a five day backpacking trip. So let's get into it. So first things first, you have the backpack. For me, it's the Chicken Tramper UL 45 liter backpack. And this is actually modded out to about 50 liters. And uh, I love this backpack. I've been using it now since January and it's pretty much the only backpack I plan on using for a while. Um, it has everything I need in it. There are some things I would probably change a little bit about it, but I really like the pack. So we'll go ahead and start right here with the front pocket. First thing you're gonna see is my buff. This was a gift from my friends at Zolio. Uh, just a simple, inexpensive buff. You've got the raincoat. This is my Frog Togs raincoat. Um, I'll put an actual name for these below as you're looking, so you'll be able to see what these are and, and Hopefully I'll have links for these at the bottom, but this is a great little raincoat. Um, does an awesome job, and it only weighs about seven ounces, so it's a great, great option. And it's right now it smells awful. Actually, I think all of this stuff is just gonna smell terrible, so just giving you a heads up. You got the old poop kit and hygiene kit. Uh, this has got toilet paper in it, wissy wipes, which if you wanna learn more about those, I'll put a link up above. Uh, some friction defense and some other things in here. Next up, we've got my medical kit, which uh, if you wanna know more about this, I'll put a link for that also so that you can see what's actually in the medical kit. Then I've got all of the paper maps and the agenda for our trip. Uh, Miyagi is amazing at putting this stuff together and so he is, he's just lined it all out and then gave each one of us one of these baggies with all the information about the trip in it, which has been great. Uh, next up, I've got my sun gloves. I hiked with these the entire time. I have psoriasis on my hands, and I don't know if you can see this, but you can see where my hands kind of break out and they dry out and all that kind of stuff. Well, these allowed my hands to not dry out. Gave me the opportunity to keep my hands uh, in a better place while I was hiking. Plus, with all the sun and everything, um, it kept my hands from getting windburn, sunburn, and they are kind of gross now. I don't know if you can see that, but they, uh, they definitely got a little bit of dirt on them during the trip. Next up is my Tybeck ground sheet. I've been using that same ground sheet for three years now and it does great. And like I said, it rolls up so small, it's really nice. Next up, I have my suspension and my ridge line for my hammock right here. This is a little sack that I got from Trailcraft Designs. Great little baggie that uh, my buddy Miyagi makes. Um, I know that he's not currently open for business, but man, when he opens for business, this thing right here is gonna be a huge seller for him. This is my Hammock Gear Dyneema Tarp. Uh, just got this a few weeks before the trip, and it weighs all of seven ounces. And my, my regular tarp that I would use on trips probably weighs like 17 ounces. So this literally took more than half a pound off of the weight of my tarp alone and uh, did a great job the entire week. Okay, so if we look down here on the bottom of the bag, you can see this nice little uh, luxury item right down here. This is my Chair Point 5. You're not misreading that, Chair Point 5. You wanna find out more about the Chair Point 5, click on the link above and you can learn about that. It's in my Hilltop Packs uh, stuff sack for my chair with my really cool John Kelly logo on it. Ooh, fancy. Let's go to the side pockets now. And uh, got a little bit of water left over from the trip in a one liter bottle. Then over here, we also have my Mora knife. And this is a cool Mora knife. This is one I got literally a month before the trip and got to use it a few times before I got out there. Um, but what I love about this, it's got a little flint steel and it's super easy to use. I'm gonna try not to catch my office on fire, but it's just simply how cool, you know? Next up in here, I have a little package of loose leaf tea from a company called Leaf Water. Um, they're really good. I gave these to everybody on the trip to try out and uh, everybody who had it really liked it. 
Uh, you just put, put these little tablets in the, the water and the leaves all turn into tea. It's pretty cool. Next up I have my steak sack with my guy lines for my tarp. And in here I also have my pack cover. This is actually a ULA pack cover, but it fits the backpack just fine. As we turn it around, I've got an empty one liter bottle from Life Water. The way I like to do water, especially because my breakfasts, the way I was making them, I needed extra water. I usually bring two full one liter bottles of water and a 20 ounce bottle of water to camp. Or when I get to camp, I go fill those up. That guarantees I have enough water to drink that night, it guarantees I have enough water for dinner, and it guarantees I have enough water to make breakfast the next morning and some coffee, and have a little bit to start on the trail with in the morning. So I also have my, uh, I have my water filter kit, I've got my Hydro Pack bag with my Bee Free filter, and on the back you can see I have some Aqua Tabs in there just in case those fail. Going to the back of the bag, 20 liter bottle of water. Now I loaded up on water before the last day and I drank a full liter and part of this one and uh, realized I probably packed out way more weight than I needed to at the end, but all my food was gone. So not too big of a deal, but that's the 20 ounce bottle I was talking about. I have my Zolio satellite communicator. You guys know how much I love this. Um, great little satellite communicator, does the job well. And uh, I was able to talk with my wife at night just to let her know how things were going each night. Now when you have a three and a four year old and a wife at home, being able to communicate is really important. So this was great for the whole week. So that's everything on the outside of the pack. So let's get inside this thing. Quick disclaimer, um, not all of this stuff is packed the way it was packed all week. On the last day of camp, I usually don't really take much care in packing my backpack. Um, I make sure the weight's distributed, but I don't worry about what I need to get out next or anything like that because it's the last day, I'm just going home. All right, so we're gonna open this up and take a look at what's in here. Uh, first thing in here, clothing bag. I've got some extra socks, underwear. Uh, I got a pair of tights in here, some hats, things like that. Okay, let's get in here. Next up, I got my favorite electronics bag from Hilltop Packs. This thing is great. I, I love this bag. It's a double-sided stuff sack. Uh, inside, there's not a lot in here. I have my hang time hook, which I use in my hammock so I can put my phone up there if I wanna watch a movie or something, which I did pretty much almost every night. Um, also, I have a charging cable for my iPhone and I should, maybe I don't, I don't even think I brought another charging cable. Man, it's a good thing I didn't need it. Whoa, I didn't bring another charging cable. I thought I brought another charging cable. Maybe I didn't. And then I've got a power bank in here that was pretty much overkill. This is the Zendor 27,000 milliamp battery pack. This thing is actually great, but I didn't really need it for this trip. But my problem was my 20,000 that I had uh, actually has died on me. And so, uh, Last second, I just grabbed this off my desk and took it with me. It weighs well over a pound. So this added some weight to my trip, but I normally wouldn't take it, but it was a last minute decision I had to make and I didn't have time to go get another battery bank. So this one had to be it for that trip. We have my hammock. This is my dream hammock, Darien. I love my hammock. Uh, best night's sleep happened in this hammock and I've been using it for years now. Really big fan. Now, like I said, this thing is not packed how I would normally pack, which is obvious by the fact that I have my food bag. Now, the way I use my food bag is I use it as an all-in-one. It doesn't just hold food. It also holds my coffee mug, which is my infinity mug from uh, GSI, big fan of that. Uh, it also holds my cook kit. It holds my spork. It holds my little towel that I use to dry things off with. And it holds my skillet, which I, I like to take with me for breakfast. Uh, I used the uh, packet gourmet meals, which uh, you boil the eggs in the bag and then you pour them into the skillet to cook them. So they actually look and taste like eggs. They're kind of nice. Also in here is an MSR spatula that I used uh, from when I made eggs in the morning. Uh, this thing weighs a little under an ounce. Fantastic little spatula, folds down real nice. That also stays in the bag. 
Also in here is some leftover food, uh, as well as something I take with me all the time, and that's this little bag right here. These are hot sauces, soy sauce, and I think I even have a little thing of Parmesan cheese right there. I like to take this with me because sometimes bagged food, freeze-dried food, can be super bland, and it's nice to have this with you. All of that is in this bag. So I had five days worth of food and all of that stuff in this bag. Now, it is massive, so it's able to hold all of it, but it also makes it so that all of my food, anything I use to cook with, is all in one place. It makes life super easy. Ah. This is something I'm not going to use again. I decided to give it a try because some friends told me that I would love it if I gave it another shot. And that's the Thermarest Compressible Pillow. It's just not my thing, man. I didn't, I didn't like it. It was a little too much loft for being in my hammock. And uh, it's really nice the way it's set up because you can pull it out. It's a couple ounces lighter than my Nemo Philo pillow. But it was too much. And so my head was kind of pushed forward so I ended up not even sleeping on it most of the time. I would sleep with it beside my head just to give me a little warmth on one side but other than that I really didn't use this pillow at all. Um, really didn't enjoy it so for me I'm probably not taking this one back with me. Up next is this is my UGQ Zeppelin under quilt. This is a 40 degree under quilt that I have used down to 28 degrees. I am not kidding you, 28 degrees, and this thing has never allowed me to stay cold. This is one of the warmest 40 degree bags I've ever used in my life. It's 850 fill, it's, uh, it's a great bag. I'll put the weight and everything down here below so you guys can see that. But this bag has been so great. I've been using this now for almost a year, and it has never once let me down. Big fan of this, uh, this quilt by UGQ. Oh. I got my puffy jacket in here. This is my outdoor research puffy. I think this is the transcendent hoodie, I believe. I can't remember, so I'll put the name below. But uh, I've been using this one now for about a year and a half. It's 800 fill down, as you can see by this wonderful little graphic on the sleeve. 800 fill down. I really, really like the jacket. It's super comfortable, but it is starting to get a little big on me. Uh, for those who don't know, I've lost almost 60 pounds now. And so this thing is starting to get a touch on the baggy side. This jacket's been great for me. I've been using it now for a year and a half and it has done an awesome job. It keeps me really warm. It's a little more on the heavy side, probably around 13 ounces for the jacket, but for the job it does, it's been fantastic. Then we have my Enlightened Equipment Mass Drop 20 degree quilt. This is my top quilt. This is a Revelation quilt. Uh, I love this. I've been using this since 2018 and summer, winter, fall, it doesn't matter. I've been able to use this in all different temperatures, uh, in all different seasons, and it's been fantastic. Uh, outside of some really cold nights that got down into the teens, I've been able to use this. But this has been a very useful item for me. A 20 degree quilt is always a good one to own. And the last thing in my bag is the Nile Flume. Uh, pack liner. This actually came with a backpack that I got from Outdoor Vitals uh, and I decided to give it a shot on this trip. I will say it is a little bit lighter than like your trash compactor bags, but the problem with this is this thing is freaking loud and every time I, I mean it's making noise right now and I'm not even doing anything. I don't know if I'm a big fan of this or not. It's just really annoying. It's just really kind of loud and crinkly. Um, and it feels like, it feels like I could puncture a hole in this so easy. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this in the future or not. I really do like trash compactor bags and I've been using them uh, for the past three or four years in my backpacks. And I think I'm probably gonna stick with those. But this was actually pretty nice to try out. It makes so much noise. It just really makes a lot of noise. And it's like, I don't know. I'm not crazy about noisy gear. But it did the job, it held all my gear in place and everything was watertight. So I didn't have to worry about if we got rained on if my gear was gonna get wet. So that's everything I took on a five day backpacking trip to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan to the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. What kind of items do you guys take on a five day trip that maybe I didn't show you? Go ahead and put those items in the description below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it the big old thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you find out anytime one of these videos drops. And 
in the comments below. I'm thinking maybe I need to get a new uh, new set. What do you guys think? Is this good or should I kind of change things up a little bit? And until next time, stay strong, hike long, and I'll catch you on the next go around.